Ever wondered which CNC router will actually give you the smoothest cuts in 2026? Today, I'm breaking down the top CNC routers options so you don't waste time or money on the wrong machine. Stick around because I'll give you clear, honest insights that cut through the hype and help you make the best choice for your workshop. Number 5. Two Trees TTC 3018 CNC. So imagine this sitting on your desk, not in a factory. That's really how this machine feels. I've been using it for small stuff, engraving wood tags, cutting acrylic pieces, messing around with PCB designs. And for that kind of everyday kinkering, it's actually pretty fun. What I liked most is how approachable it is. You don't feel scared turning it on. You can experiment, mess up, learn, and it doesn't feel like you're risking a thousand dollar machine. It's perfect for evenings where you just want to build something small and custom. What I didn't love is the power. You really have to accept its limits. Anything harder than wood or plastic is a hard no, and even thicker materials take patience. This is great if you're a hobbyist, student, or DIY nerd who enjoys learning. If you want to cut metal or run a business with it, skip it. You'll just get frustrated. Number four. CNC 3020 Pro Max. Most of my projects used to live as half-finished ideas. I'd plan them, measure everything, then stop because the tools I had couldn't take me any further. Eventually, I decided to fix that and brought this CNC machine into my workspace. It didn't take long before it became part of my evenings. I'd load up a small piece of metal or wood, let it run while I cleaned up, and come back to something I could actually use. What stood out to me was how solid it felt. Nothing wobbly, nothing flimsy, just steady, predictable movement. The trade-off is time and focus. You can't rush it, and there's a bit of trial and error before things go smoothly. It rewards patience more than speed. I'd suggest this to someone who enjoys building things properly and doesn't mind learning along the way. If you want instant results with zero effort, this probably isn't the right fit. Number 3. CNC 3018 Machine Do you ever get the feeling that your tools are the reason your ideas stay unfinished? I kept running into that wall until this machine found a permanent spot on my desk. Day to day, I use it for small metal pieces, engraving tags, and refining designs I want to repeat without surprises. It doesn't demand constant attention, which makes it easier to focus on the project instead of the process. What stands out is how capable it feels for its footprint. There's enough strength there to work with tougher materials without babying it. The trade-off is size. You're always thinking in compact terms, and bigger ideas need to be broken down. I'd recommend it to makers who enjoy precision and problem-solving. If you're chasing instant results or large-scale builds, this won't match your expectations. Number 2. Two Trees TTC 450 Pro I don't think this machine is for everyone, and that's exactly why I respect it. After spending time with it, it feels like a tool built for people who actually enjoy making things, not just pressing start and walking away. What won me over is the space. Being able to work on larger wood panels without breaking designs into pieces changes how you plan projects. It fits naturally into a home workshop and handles long sessions without feeling fragile. I've used it for signs, acrylic panels, and light aluminum work, and it's been consistent. That said, it asks something from you. Between the upgrades, attachments, and settings, there's a learning curve. If you rush or expect it to behave like an industrial machine, you'll get frustrated. I'd recommend this to serious hobbyists or small workshop owners who want flexibility and room to grow. If you're brand new or want instant results with no setup, this probably isn't your machine. Number 1. LYBG CNC 3 to 5 axis. I used this CNC machine to make custom aluminum brackets for a small workshop project. It handled the cuts smoothly and stayed precise throughout multiple passes. The repeatability and solid build give confidence when working with metals or thicker materials. 
Its main strength is power and stability. Even larger pieces stay steady under the spindle, and the 0.02mm accuracy makes detailed work reliable. The main downside is complexity. Setting up the machine and learning the software takes time, and mistakes can be costly on harder materials. This is ideal for experienced hobbyists, engineers, or small business owners who need precision and versatility. Beginners or casual makers looking for a simple, ready-to-use machine should look elsewhere. All right, that's a wrap on our look at the top CNC routers for 2026. If you want to dig a little deeper, I've dropped some links in the description that you might find useful. No pressure, just some info to help you decide. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one.